This morning in our Consumer Confidential, a summer cleanup for our devices. If your phone is full, your desktop is cluttered, your inbox is stuffed, we have some help for you this morning. We have Jason Chin, the deputy editor of Wirecutter, and he's here to help us tidy up. Good morning to you. Hey, Jason. Good morning. Good morning. I have to tell you, sometimes people have mailboxes that are full or things are running slow. Where do you even start? Oh. That's a really good question. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, I'm very guilty of this too. Um, yeah. oh, it's what, good to know you are too. Oh, very much so. I would start with doing an audit. You know, you should mm -hmm. really on take your a phone or a laptop or both. Both. Okay. So take a look at the storage settings. Understand where everything is. If you've got a lot of photos, start there. If you've got a lot of music downloaded, get rid of those. And then from there, what you want to do is figure out what to delete. And mm -hmm. so. Really, there's a lot of stuff in those music files, in those photo folders that you can delete. And then also our downloads are taking up a lot of room. You know, your friend sends you something, mm -hmm. yeah. you download it to your desktop, go there. And then what I would also suggest is start scheduling some cleanup time. Right. Do it once a week, mm -hmm. once every two weeks. You'll, you'll have a lot of peace of mind. And, and a lot of the places to purge that storage, once you do that, that audit, it gives you an idea. You look at your mail, you look at your text, you look at your photos. Totally. Those are the places where you start to really look. That's, that's definitely where you should go. And then on your phone, really, if we're talking specifically about your phone, old text messages, there are a lot of videos in there. You just delete the deleted? You can go to delete, and then the phone will auto-delete after 30 days. Mm -hmm. If you want to get rid of it immediately, you can do it immediately and go mm -hmm. delete the deleted in your yeah. trash bin. Also, go through your old, old text messages because those are people you haven't talked to in maybe two years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get rid You're of right. those old photos You're and videos. Right. Why do I even say I'm like that a hoarder. Stuff. I, I am, too. Digital we're, we're digital hoarders. Digital hoarder. Digital hoarder. I'm also a digital hoarder on the computer, too. So, you know, you're looking for the files. You never really want to delete anything. How do you clean up your desktop? Totally. So, after you've gone through everything and figure out what you want to keep, try to create some tags. So we can take a look at my desktop right now, okay. the very sanitized version. <laughs> you can also create some tags on files and folders, just the way hashtags sort of work on mm -hmm. social media. So here I'm creating a tag for work. And so everything related to work, I can bring up as work. And then later on, when I search for that tag, it'll summon everything very clearly. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to just do work. You can do a tag for mom's 70th birthday. You can mm -hmm. do a tag for taxes, uh, okay. a personal project. That's an easy way to work. Oh, like if there was good. a business you could, I would pay somebody. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there me. is. Yeah. Can you just help me do that? Let's talk about emails. I'm guilty. I have, what, 1,001, 2,000, and another, I guess. I'm the worst offender, yes. the same. Because you open it, and then you read it, and you don't think to delete. So you delete. Just yeah. Or you're yes. like, I'll get back to it later. hundred exactly. percent. And so, so something easy you can do is we've done a little bit of a demonstration here. This is my email inbox, so mm -hmm. don't look too closely. <laughs> um, but what you can do is type in the word size, colon, and then a file size. Oh. And then it'll bring up every file that's at least that size. Where? In the search? In thing? the search bar. So it works on Outlook. It also will work in Gmail. Mm -hmm. And so you'll see that everything that is two megabytes or bigger, mm -hmm. it will bring right up. And you can go through and delete the old things. Or you can, mm -hmm. if you're really brave, select all. Get yeah. And just yeah. get rid of it. You Even in the search box, you put size? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. The, okay. It's a little bit different on Outlook. On Gmail specifically, that's how it works. But okay. we have some instructions on wire cutter. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. So we talk about our phones. Uh, you talk about streamlining our texts. Yeah. So this is actually a, a fun demonstration I can show you right now. Okay. So. I think we all know that you can use uh, text shortcuts on your phone. If you type in, say, LMK, it can do a shortcut oh. that turns into let me know. Really? Um, yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> so here, say, if you want to type in oh. LMK, it'll turn into let me know. But something else that's actually pretty cool that I like to do is actually if there's a lot of text that I am typing in often that is a little bit tedious, if yeah. I need it for various forms for credit card information, oh. what you can do is the next time you need to type that thing in, what you'll do is just type in the shortcut and it'll pull it right up. Oh, wow. So oh, that's, that's not my cool. actual email to try to email me, but yeah, okay. you can do that for addresses, email. It's very, very simple. That's wow. great. Yeah. Um, OK, and when it, speaking of the phone, when it comes to apps, yes. what's the difference between just removing them from you know, the interface or removing them completely? Totally. So when you get rid of it completely, it gets rid of the storage on your phone and on any iCloud backups of your phone. So it won't take up any more space. Removing it from the phone itself, though, 
uh, via the app home function, mm -hmm. it won't actually get rid of it. It'll just hide it so that if you're on your home oh, screen, okay. you won't be able to see it. So I can show you how to do that now. Delete gets rid of it completely. Right. Mm -hmm. Remove from home screen just means it's gone off the screen. And usually gives you a warning that says this is going to delete all the data. Right. Right. Exactly, exactly. And then if you've removed it only from the home screen, you can actually bring it back up rather easily. Okay. So okay. go all the way to the right to the app library. If you want to find podcasts again, it's right there. Right. Oh. Okay. Or you can just bring down your search bar and then type in podcasts. Okay. It's like right there as well. Oh, Even if cool. it's not on your home screen. Oh, Jason, of, thank you. We've got so many apps on our phones that we haven't used in it's a so year. So yeah. Get rid of them. Take up space. Yeah. Thanks, Jason. Great. Right. Thank, thank you so you. much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.